Obviously, I look like Dobby right now, pre-sock Dobby, you know, early on into Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> There's a reason for that, of course. I have made myself the mildest I am capable of being. And I am in a parking garage! There is no other reason for me to exist other than to push the boundaries of what is and isn't acceptable in public spaces in modern society. There is um, a soothing hum that plays in parking garages that and also and doesn't it smell like your old laundry room when you were growing up like so musty musty to the point where it's delicious and you want to lick the floor let's not pretend we weren't licking our basement floors as children to taste the musty smell because that's young and i don't want to fight that anymore so i will lick this floor immediately Okay, it's so dirty, it's literally just mud. And I'm gonna be honest, not to be controversial, I'm not hungry for mud. People of the garage, no one friend, it's just Diet Coke. I've come here for a reason. The reason being I have unearthed a very terrifying and worrisome epidemic in humanity and I'm scared. Oh, oh, the strongest and oldest waft of pee just came into my senses and it's beautiful. It's giving me everything I want from a parking garage. I wouldn't expect anything less. If this parking garage smelt like lilacs, I would leave. That's annoying. I don't want that. I want must and old urine, a hundred percent. Specifically, old man urine. No shade, all compliments. It has a very distinct and very pungent aroma. There are times and place for the stench of old urine. When you're celebrating your most boring cousin's wedding, Maybe don't pee your pants then, right? No one wants to smell that then. But if you're at a park with friends and you're feeling a little silly, why not go under the picnic table you're all sitting at and just pee? It's fun. Okay, I think I'm starting to scare people. I can't scare people too much because then I'm afraid people are gonna tell the managers of this establishment and I will be kicked out. So the point is, there's too much mildness. There's too much boringness. Everything is too boring. And things need to start becoming less boring. And I'm realizing I can't just be sitting around doing nothing, expecting things to become less boring. You have to be the spice you want to see in the world, right? Not to be like the harshest critique of modern society in the history of the world. Everything is mild. Everything, everything that I am looking at recently is mild salsa and I've had enough. So anyways, time for extra jalapeno. I'm going to give myself a makeover in this parking garage and I'm gonna show you how to give yourself a makeover in this parking garage because everyone needs to know how to give themselves an extreme home makeover, if you will. Things will very quickly get very extreme. That's why, that's why I look so ugly right now because one time I had a friend in ninth grade, she would make herself extra ugly the week of a dance so that the day of the dance, the reveal of her look was extra impactful and that stuck with me forever. Our friendship didn't because she was a bitch, but that nugget of wisdom will stay with me until the day I die and possibly into the afterlife. Uh, the first thing I need to do is somehow change without revealing any nudity. First of all, because I'm not a scumbag. I'm not gonna flash the sweet residence of this parking garage. Also, I don't ever want anyone to see my bits because I'm deeply insecure. So. Those two combined make me very appropriate. Okay, so it's the classic, put it on over top and make some stuff happen. Take this off very nonchalantly. No one's the wiser. No one's the wiser, is my butt showing? Nothing to see here, sir. Nothing to see at all. Everything is normal. Everything is ordinary. Everything is average in this corner. Something weird has happened. That was way harder than I thought it would be. Yes, there is a somewhat noticeable grease stain because of course I did wear this yesterday to the movies and put so much butter on my popcorn that it soaked through the bag onto my dress, but that's fine. It's not about being clean. It's about being spicy, okay? Anything but mild. I'd rather be covered in grease than, you know, smell like Tide and have no personality. <laughs> what do we think? I mean, it's stunning, obviously. Use a trim. I don't know. I mean, I like it, and at the same time, I've never hated anything more. 
Okay, what about her? I mean, she's large. She's large. She's large and she's in charge and she's possibly Marge Simpson. But obviously she's ugly, but like in a cool way. That's what I'm aiming for at all times. Ugly, but you're like, huh? Like, you know when like you smell cat poo and it's so sickening, but also at the same time you're like, why do I want to keep smelling it? That is one of how that smell is how I want to look. I want to translate that smell of cat poo into aesthetic. Ew. <laughs> There might be a fair amount of debris in this hair, and the wig line might be horrendous, but that's not what it's about. It's not about looking good, it's about not being mild. Enough is enough. If you live as though the world is boring, then the world will be boring. If you live as though the world is spicy extra jalapenos, the world will be that. And that's on being a witch, bitch. <laughs> Time to get Stunning. Okay, now that we know the wig, it can inform the makeup decision. Can we talk to each other about colors for a second? Now, colors are important to the anti-mild, to fight the mild virus. But it's not about rainbow, okay? Let's not be a 14-year-old at their first pride parade, okay? Let's calm down. Let's put some thought into it. There's a little something called color theory that I don't know what it means and I don't understand what it is, but I know it exists and I know that I've said it before as though I do know what it means and I actually don't. But the point is, think about color combinations. Be smart and also be surprising and also don't be ugly. Okay, so for the makeup, I'm gonna take the wig off because it'll aid to a better grand reveal. Being dramatic is very important when it comes to makeovers and we need to remember that. Okay, so first I have this thing that is from a place and now I'm going to do things with it. I'm going to mix this color. Oh. Who did that? I want a custom pistachio shade. Pistachio. See, yellow and green under the right circumstances equal pistachio. Now, I'm going to glob this all over my eyeball. Shh. Now I want a royal blue unibrow. Uni. Again, it's not about being perfect. It's about being everything. I want smudgy lips so it looks like I just made out with someone who for Halloween was dressed as a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. I don't know if that looks good, but I know it doesn't look mild. Time for final touches. Okay, someone who works here was just down here for 15 minutes and eyeing me heavily, so now I'm scared, so let's go. I don't know who I'm telling, but I'm telling myself and it's time to move. I'm not gonna move in quickly and that's the truth. It goes without being said that obviously I have never looked better, but I don't think it would be too extreme to say that obviously no human in the history of the world has ever looked better than I do in this moment. Look at this car, look at this house. Now, and I have a lot of things, and then look at me with this person, and they also have a lot, a lot of things. And now we're standing together and doing something really boring at the same time. It's not that everything else in the world is mild, and I am the only thing that's not mild. I'm mild too! I recently started replaying Plants vs. Zombies, and I hate it, and I can't stop. And it's really easy to just sit on the toilet for hours on end and keep planting those plants and keep fighting off those zombies. It's very easy to do that, and I did that for most of today. But at least, at least, I came to a parking garage and I smudged lipstick down to my chin. I don't want to sit around complaining that the world isn't the kind of world that I want to look at. And the media that I'm seeing isn't the kind of media that I want to look at. And that I find so much of what is supposed to be creative empty and hollow. Because that's 
sitting around and complaining about it while peeing and playing pa Plants vs. Zombies, it does nothing. So I'm gonna go to a public place and I'm gonna do some bullshit and I'm gonna film it. And even if no one else cares, at least I'm living my life in a way that feels magical to me. I don't think I'm ever gonna get married. <laughs> but if I were to marry myself like Sue Sylvester and Glee, which by the way is horrendous, but I watched it all, the vow that I would make to myself is I can't promise much because I don't like to be held accountable because <laughs> my mood might change, but I can vow this for the rest of my life. I will never, ever settle for mild. I mean, we might not all be able to agree that I'm cool or not mild, but I think we can all agree I look <laughs> amazing. Hello? It's me, your Echo. I love you. I love you too, Garage.